Hey everybody, it's Joshua Gaiman with joshuagaiman.com. Wanted to do a quick little video here on quantitative easing. Had uh, one of my viewers ask me, what is quantitative easing? He actually more specifically asked me um, what quantitative easing number three was. But quantitative easing, whether it's one, two, or three, is the same thing. The number here doesn't really mean anything. It's just what round of, of easing it is. Quantitative easing is a stimulus to inject money into the United States economy. And uh, through what uh, it's, it's something the Federal Reserve does. Whether it's one, two, or three doesn't really matter. Uh, one and two have already been done. The next round, which is on the horizon, is number three. Number three is inevitable, and uh, I'm going to explain why it's inevitable. Now, they might not call it QE3. They might try to twist it and call it something else, confuse everybody. Um, but a third round of quantitative easing is definitely coming. Okay, so what is quantitative easing, and how does it work? How does it get more money into the economy? And how much money does it really get into the economy? Well, the, to bring money into the uh, United States economy, the United States needs to sell debt. Debt is the name of the game. Since 1971, when the dollar and the gold standard were completely removed, debt became the new money. So, how do we get more debt and expand the economy? Well, the United States is a very big country and a very big economy. And what we do is we sell our debt, which is known as a bond. And investors all over the world, each one of these lines is an investor, they line up and they purchase these bonds, which makes the money flow back to the United States. They're buying our debt, bringing the money comes back to us. What happens when we are in a recession or depression or whatever you want to call it that we're in right now, and this is what's happened, is that these investors they quit coming. So if you can see that. These investors don't have our same line it up. So that stops the flow of money back into the US as there's no buyer for the bond or the debt. So what happens is the Federal Reserve, who does nothing except for sells paper notes to the United States government. They come down and they buy these bonds so that the money still flows into the United States economy, which creates even bigger debt to the United States and expands the money supply. What this does is this devalues the existing money in circulation. Everybody that has money in retirement accounts, savings accounts, um, any liquid cash, they're actually going to lose their wealth if uh, they're not making at least a return on it that's equal to the rate of inflation, which is another um, m uh, number that gets manipulated by, uh, by the media and the government and the Federal Reserve. So that's what quantitative easing is. And uh, since nobody's down here buying our debt anymore, the Federal Reserve, they're going to keep, keep doing this. They're going to keep being the ones that come in here and swoop up the debt. Um, for the foreseeable future, but what it's doing, because it's devaluing our currency, which is what the inflation is, that's um, that's upsetting other countries because the people that already came in and bought this debt before, all these old buyers, which a lot of them are really big uh, countries, China, Japan, Russia, they're getting mad because the debt now that we, that we have to them from when they bought our bonds before is not worth as much as it was when they bought it because now we've um, inflated our dollar and made our dollar worth less. So that's what's going on right now, and that's um, that's why even and, you know we've seen the dollar spike up over the last couple of weeks, and we've seen gold and silver plummet. But um, this is what's really going on, and this is much bigger than anything that happens with head funds, margin calls, Wall Street, whatever. This is um, this is money one hundred and one. I mean, this is this is the big stuff um, that's going to affect everything in the long term. This is going to send. The dollar down to zero because the Fed, the Fed, they they uh, they keep ramping up the printing presses and expanding that money supply. So the dollar is going to go to zero. And I don't have a have a gold pen, but we'll use blue. Um, gold is going to go up until there's something else for people to put their currency in or their money in. 
So what I think will happen is eventually uh, a global currency, and I have some videos on that if you want to go back and flip through the YouTube videos. Um, but people are going to put their money into gold, um, and it's going to rise until there's something else for them to put it into. And right now it's tough. They don't want to put it into Wall Street, real estate, uh, a lot of things like this because uh, the economy is so bad right now. But um, it's they're not going to want to put it in the dollar much longer um, as the critical mass catches on to what's happening um, on the big scale, which is these things I'm talking about here with quantitative easing and printing money. Uh, so anyways, um, gold and silver are a great investment right now. Um, at least for the foreseeable future. Um, that's really all I wanted to say. So I hope you learned something, and I'll talk to you soon.